welcome back to my channel uh, this is actually a part two for a viewers uh, question uh, they had asked about uh, expansion kits and in the first video I talked about the Alpine kit and today I'm going to talk about the orchestral kit uh, now quite honestly I love the orchestral expansion kit I'm not particularly thrilled with the user sets that they give you. Uh, I don't like their particular selection, but you know what? Everyone's different. It's your accordion. You get to make it sound exactly the way you want. Now, before we get started, please, if you have an accordion that you've purchased where they've changed the sounds for you. Do not do this. Do not do this. You will, guaranteed, change your user sets, which will change your user programs. Uh, things won't be where they're supposed to be. Please do not do this. Watch the video so you, you learn something about the accordion but, you know, you don't want to ruin the sounds that have already been on there for you. If you like them, please don't do that. Uh, it's also going to save you probably some money and a lot of aggravation. When you go to pick it up and you go, wait, where was that saxophone that's supposed to be here? And it's not. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go through a couple slides uh, just to kind of explain a little bit about each of the sets. All right, I am now back and, and we're just going to go through some of these um, user sets that they actually give you. Uh, so the order of operations, the things that we're going to have to do to get these to work is um, first a warning. It's the order of operations. Warning. Danger, Will Robinson. You will overwrite your user sets. Okay. If you have something that you like there, do not follow the video. Watch it. See what I do. For educational purposes only, do not overwrite your user sets if there's something that you want, especially if you've purchased them with the sounds already changed. If you do, you're just asking for trouble because you, you're going to have to call them to get your get the voicing back that you want. All right, that being said, first thing you have to do is load the expansion kit, all right? Uh, that usually takes about a minute and a half or so. Then you will load the user sets that you want. And then you get to experiment with the sounds and see what you like. And if you like them, you know, you, you can put them in user programs. Now, before we go any further, I absolutely love the orchestral expansion kit it gives you a lot of sounds a lot of new instruments i think it's wonderful they're great i love them and i use them as far as the user sets go i i really don't care for these but that's my own ear all right uh you may like the sound. So let's, without further ado, let's get in and take a look at some of these. So the uh, very first thing I want to say is the accordion sounds are not changed. This is the startup accordion, the concerto. Uh, they've kept all of those the same. The only thing they've done on these sets are taken instruments from the orchestral uh, kit and 
put them, kind of group them together, right? So again, the warning is up there for you. All right. They actually have six sets here. Now, the problem is you only have four locations to put these sets. So you can't use all six. You have to mix and match. All right. That being said, the first two are kind of together. Uh, they call it electro. Um you can see the listing there on, on the screen for them. Um, you know, some of these aren't bad. I prefer my own blend, but uh, again, these are ones that have been taken from the orchestral sound. So there are two sets here. Uh, it's kind of interesting on Electro 2, 1A and 4B, are like the same, or at least according to my ear, they sound the same. So it's just kind of interesting. But anyway, those are the electro styles. They're okay. Um, 313, it's a combination of winds and brass sounds. So you get some, some kind of interesting thing. They put um, like uh, all the trumpets, so they've got four trumpets together, you know, a xylophone, um, baritone sax. Uh, you know, they have some nice wind and, and brass instruments there put together. 314, that's a lot of strings and guitars. Now, honestly, I don't really like 313 or 314. I just don't like those. Uh, the glockenspiel, you know, if I needed something like that, I would actually go in and, and modify it. Um, and, and I have videos on, on how to go in and do that and create your own sets. Um, you know, I like the uh, instruments, just not the sounds particularly. 315, this is what Roland calls keys well it, it, it's a lot of keyboard is what it is uh i just don't think the uh the sound on the one x does a lot of justice to keyboard they call it key uh, what do they call it keys etc so for example they give you a steel drum sound um i think it needs a lot more volume than they have in there but again it's your call. It's your accordion. You get to do whatever you want. And finally, they have uh, synthetic sounds. These are sets. You can make your own sets and pick the sounds that you want. Because remember, you only have four slots for these. Okay? That's all you have is four. So pick what you want. So for example, you know, you might have all of these in there. So at the end of this, you will have had Alpine expansion in memory location one, orchestral in memory location two. Well, you may want, oh, you know what? I really like, oh, 4D from here. Well, that's in there. You can pick any of these that you want and create your own user set with the instruments that you like. I happen to like the harmonica sound. I think it's great when I'm playing something like Folsom City. Um, I like that sound. So for me, I actually have that in one of my user sets so I can actually use it. All right. That being said, I'm going to quickly show you um, how to put these in. Okay. The FR1X is just coming on. So the first thing we're going to do is, you know, in the order of operations, we're going to load the expansion. So go into the param parameters list and uh, we need to load uh, the, the uh, sound sets. 
So that's actually 40 clicks in. So again, 40 clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 38, 39, 40. There's sound. We want to load the sounds. Orchestral sounds are three. I actually have both the Alpine and the orchestral on here. So we're going to take um, orchestral, which is three. What memory location do you want? Well, I have Alpine in one. I'm going to put orchestral in two. And it's now loading. And I will be back in about a minute and a half. Okay, now that that's loaded, we're going to load the four user sets. Now, I'm going to select four to load, um, you know, just, to, just as a demo. Again, you only have four slots, but you have six of these user sets. So, we're going to go into the parameter list. Now, if you remember, we were at, at 40 here. We want to use... Uh, user set, so that's 37, so we're going to go back 3, 39, 38, 37, user sets. So I want to select the user sets. Now, which ones do I want? Um, 111 was the, the Alpine one that we had, had loaded, but um, 311, uh, we're going to use 311, 312, um, I don't like the... Um, 313 and 314. I, I don't care for those. So we're I'm not even going to put those in. And so I'm just going to bypass those. So we're going to do 311. And we're going to put that in. Uh, let's put that in U1. It's loading. It's done. We're going to go back. User set. We're going to go to user set 12. And we're going to put that in U2. So you hit to U2. Hit the enter. That one is in there. And user set uh, 13 I don't like. 14 I don't like. We're going to do 15. And we're going to put that in 3. I actually don't care for it either. I really don't care for these. But for demonstration purposes only. Uh, and... Finally, 316. And I will put that in 4. All right. Be back with the uh, demonstration. All right. Uh, now that I'm back, I uh, just want to go through, uh, you know, a little bit of this. Uh, one thing that I wanted to do so you can actually hear this is I, I set my bellows curve um, to three, so it's fixed loud, um, and, and I just did that just so you know you're not thinking I'm pulling harder on one sound than another or, or anything like that. So to give them all a fair thing, so bellows are snapped, uh, and we're just here now. I just turned the accordion on, set my bellows. So this is, you know, this is standard. <laughs> standard accordion. So we're going to go to user set um, 1. Okay, so this is U1. Now, if you remember, I put uh, 311 in user set 1. Now, no change because they didn't do anything with the accordion. The accordion is still the concerto, which is the, the turn on. All right, so go to orchestral. Now, this is 1A. This is some kind of flute. has a very sharp end to it. Okay. 1B. It's a, second, it's a flute. It's a little different. And again, these are all kind of there. Let me um, jump to something. Uh, 3A is... Is some type of clarinet. Boy, I don't know. That sounds like maybe a little bit of a 16 foot reed there or something. Uh, 3B is the clarinet. So that's a nice, sweet sound. 
Uh, let's do 3C. That is some type of saxophone. 3D is a tenor sax. And you can go through and, and see what they've picked. Now these are, are user sets that, that they would have picked. So if you like something, you know, and you have these in, you can mix and match and put them in user programs. Let's take a quick look at 2. So user 2 is at Electro 2. And, and what I wanted to point out, if I'm here in 1A, and then, uh, where is that, 4B? It, it's exactly the same, at least to my ears. But anyway, uh, you know, you can get, uh, that's 2A, uh, slow strings, 2B. So these are just sounds that they have picked. Now, I've also done uh, 315, which is kind of a keyboard. So let me go to U3, so you can hear. Uh, Celestra is there. Uh, the steel drums. Uh, where is that? 3C. Now it's kind of interesting. The harder you hit, the louder it is. So that's just kind of interesting. But again, uh, you know, you can go through that and, and take a look. U4. U4, I, again, uh, when I'm done with this video, I am not keeping these user sets, I can tell you that. But uh, let's do 4D. <laughs> So, you know, you get some, some interesting things. Uh, you know, it's, it's whatever you like. They put these together. I'm thinking as an example. So, you know, whichever you particularly like. Me, none of them. So, I, I'll make my own. And, and I encourage you to do the same. But anyway, that is the orchestral and actually what I think of them, which is not, I mean, somebody put a lot of work into it. It's just not good for my ear. Uh, being three years older than dirt, I like something with a little more punch to it. Uh, so it gets through all the, uh, the wax buildup after that many years. So anyway enjoy if you haven't already done so please hit the like and subscribe below and have fun with your accordion and keep playing